Hi guys, my name is Adiboy. I'm a 14 pharmacy student at UIC College of Pharmacy. So if you're looking to gain a little bit of knowledge about the topic is pharmacy school, the right choice for me, you've actually come to the right place because in this video, I'm going to be giving a brief overview of what you should know about this topic. So uh, in the past, I've actually done talks, uh, presentation to uh, a group of students, mostly at the uh, community college level, who are looking to gain admissions into College of Pharmacies and ultimately pursue a career in pharmacy. So I thought I'd just make this video. So uh, just to begin, I wanted to mention that pharmacy is actually a really, really rewarding career because as pharmacists, health prof healthcare professionals, they actually do get the opportunity to change people's lives through their recommendations on medication regimen and medication therapy in general. So in terms of job outlook in general, how does it look out there? Well, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, the same between 2012 and 2022, the, the, the job growth will be about 14%, give or take. And they were based on that off of uh, the aging population and the fact that there will be advancement in research and technology and science, and hopefully that will lead to uh, uh, you know advancement in drug research and development, and hopefully uh, better side effect profiles for, for the medications. And, and these are really great fact. These are really good, however, that's been compromised by the amount of pharmacy schools that have been open uh, in the past year, uh, in the past few years, and, and the amount of uh, from the graduates that are graduating every year. And, and I'll touch base on that later, uh, later on in the video. So, where do pharmacists work? Uh, pharmacists can actually work in a variety of places. They could work in retail store, merchandise stores, uh, community as we call it, or they could work in the hospital as a clinician, uh, clinical settings. They could work uh, in the pharmaceutical industries. Actually, there are a ton of opportunities for pharmacists in, in the pharmaceutical industries. Uh, they could work as a consultant pharmacist. Also, uh, they could work for the federal government. They could work uh, in the FDA or they could work in the VA system. Uh, they could work as a JD, uh, which are pharmacists that focus on pharmacy law. And also, they could go into the military. Actually, I do know a couple of uh, folks who are heading in that direction right now uh, who are hoping to become uh, uh, a pharmacist in the Navy. So, <clears throat> How do you become one? How do you become a pharmacist? Well, you would have to complete the pre-pharmacy courses, especially here in the United States. You would have to uh, complete the pre-pharmacy courses, and that would take you about two, three years. Actually, that's rapidly changing right now. Uh, most schools, most programs are uh, in the process of adjusting their curriculum and changing a few things here and there. So. Normally it takes, in the past, it would take about two or three years to complete those pre-pharmacy coursework. Uh, however, some most, some schools do require that you have a, a four-year bachelor's degree before you can get admissions and admission to their programs. So uh, you want to, you know, just look into like these places that you might have in mind and see what their requirements are in terms of uh, uh, the pre-pharmacy uh, coursework and, and what you need to um, get, what you need to complete before you, you go, you know, follow through with the admissions. And this performance coursework basically focuses on um, uh, biology, physiology, anatomy, genetics, some math, uh, physics, and this will prepare you for what is to come later in the, in the from the curriculum. So then after you complete those performance coursework, you take the PCAT. So the PCAT is like an entrance exam into most uh, pharmacy programs here in the United States. And different programs have their own uh, requirements regarding uh, PCAT scores and what you need to get uh, before you go to apply into this program. So again, you would want to check with those uh, programs that you have in mind and see what the requirements are uh, regarding PCAT. And, and I know uh, some programs actually do always take admission process where the don't just focus on PCAT scores, they look at everything in general. So uh, it's it might be helpful to just uh, take a look and see uh, what your, the programs you're interested in or what they want regarding that. So after you complete the PCAT and hopefully you get admitted into pharmacy school, then you complete it from the curriculum. 
So you can either go into the three-year path or the four-year path. I know some schools offer the accelerated program, the three years uh, program, where you can actually complete a firm the curriculum in three years. Uh, and some more schools I, uh, offer the four-year program, which is what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm in my fourth year right now. So um, people have different opinions regarding that. Again, it's all depend on indi individual, whichever route that you're willing to, uh, to go. Um, so according to the SPE, which is the Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education, there are about 122 accredited programs, uh, give or take, and there are about eight candidate programs and three pre-candidate programs that are up and coming at this point. Again, this just add to what I was talking about earlier about um, the amount of graduates that are graduating every year and you know uh, it just had to the pool of graduates looking for job after from the program um, this is actually a really good business for these programs uh, in terms of opening opening new pharmacy schools however that's not really good for us pharmacy students who will be graduating and looking for jobs later um, but well that's that uh, that's uh, another whole topic that I could address later so after you complete the three year or four year from the curriculum depending on uh, where you go you may actually decide you know it's time to uh, start working and start making uh, good money and raise a family um, uh, some other graduates do pursue residency program which is about another year or two depending on uh, what you really want to uh, go or do um, so residency program lets you acquire further education in some area of specializations in clinical pharmacy uh, could be it could go from oncology to pediatrician to infectious diseases um, um, just to name a few uh, there are a lot of subdivision that you can go and, and specialize in after you complete your from the curriculum. So in terms of how much do pharmacists earn, uh, as you probably may have heard around, uh, pharmacists do they do earn pretty good amount of money. Um, right now, according to actually back in twenty twelve, according to uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, the the median salary for for pharmacies was about 116,000 give or take which can uh, sum up to be around uh, 56 dollars an hour which is you know not too bad not too bad um, again that depends on where you work uh, I really really depend on where you work and what kind of settings they have going on and, and all this kind of stuff so uh, that's about that and, and uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say regarding uh, this topic um, I do want to recommend though that if you looking or you know thinking of uh, applying to pharmacy school and pursuing a career in pharmacy that you do uh, volunteer uh, at a pharmacy retail pharmacy or in the hospital or just shot with pharmacist just so you have an idea uh, have a feel for what you're about to dive into uh, or what you're about to commit your next four, six, eight years, or you know, depending on how, how far you want to go, of your life into. Uh, so it's I would recommend just you know, um, doing those just so you can have you know some sort of idea of, of what you're about to get yourself into. Um, again, uh, the tuitions, the you know, tuition. They don't come cheap. They're actually quite expensive these days, depending on uh, what school you go. Uh, so I would again recommend making sure you really know what you're about to dive into before uh, you know getting uh, following through with the applications and and everything else. So uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them. Just uh, leave them in the comment area. Uh, ask your questions, uh, leave comments, I would address to those, I would uh, respond to them as well. If you do like this video, uh, you can click subscribe, I will be making more videos in the future, especially about the challenges and balancing the stress level of pharmacy school, and uh, for, especially for people who have other responsibilities such as uh, parents like I am, and or if you have other stuff going on outside of uh, school. Uh, that will be going on for you outside of uh, pharmacy school. So I'll be uh, making a video about that later. Um, so, all right. Uh, just uh, leave the questions. Uh, 
Again, I'll be leaving some uh, resources, uh, information where you can get more uh, knowledge, you get more knowledge about this topic. I'll leave those in the video description and uh, feel free to uh, check those out. And uh, that'll be it. All right. See you later. Ciao.